Well, good day, good day to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day you are viewing, so good to see you, so good to be back with you. Y'all, come on in, come on. We're going to have a great time on today, for this is another day, another day that God has blessed us with. Yes, he chose you, and he chose me that on today, you and I would be coming together, doing life together. Today, we are connecting together, but more importantly, we are connecting with Christ. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Y'all come on in. We're going to have a great time on today. Hallelujah. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. And today, again, we're so happy to be able to have this moment of sharing with you. Y'all, come on, come on in. We're going to have a great time on today. Our devotion simply says today, listen to my voice. Here we are, March 10th. Our devotion, listen to my voice by Cassandra Tiersma. Let's dive in. Well, everything tilted like a careening sailboat and began whirling around. Feeling dizzy, Cassandra hugged the floor, crawling like a drunken sailor, wary of being knocked overboard by the boom. Seasick, she couldn't eat or drink anything except a sip of ginger ale or a saltine cracker. She'd like to say this was her first experience on board a sailboat, but it wasn't. She was dealing with a bout of vertigo that incapacitated her for days. Similarly, other ex unexpected upsetting events have caught her off guard and thrown her off balance. The death of a loved one, a family tragedy, the loss of a valued relationship, a financial setback. Sudden bad news can knock us off balance. Her bout with vertigo caused her reflect on challenging events that have brought sudden major change to her life. Each was akin to being afflicted with vertigo when her whole world tilted. Caught off guard. She lost her balance and got knocked down. Each time, it took a while to regain her equilibrium. Today, just like Cassandra, when we are experiencing emotional vertigo, feeling as if we are crawling on our knees, struggling to regain our balance, we can call on Jesus and listen to his voice. And we know, we know that he'll stay with us until the events in our life stop spinning and return to order. Jesus helps us to stand on our feet again. He has brought us safely through all the emotional, financial, and spiritual vertigo episodes thus far. And we can trust him to continue to do it even more. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise. Let's thank him for his voice, that sweet, soft voice that speaks to us, that calms us, that calms the rage and seas. Lord, we thank you 
Thank you for that voice. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Somebody just say thank you right now. Hallelujah. Listen to my voice. Thank you, Father. Let's go to our scripture of consideration this morning. We're going to move over to Proverbs 23, verse 34. It reads, you will feel as if you were out on the ocean, seasick, swinging high up in the rigging of a tossing ship. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for Proverbs as it's given us instruction and warning. It's sharing how, of course, those who, who, who get caught up with the wine, it says you will feel <laughs> as if you were out on the ocean. You're not on the ocean. But you will feel as though you are out on the ocean. You will become sick, seasick, swinging high up in the rackets, rafters and rigging of a tossing ship. That's what life will do to you. That's what life will throw you if indeed you are not listening to the Father. It says you are, will feel sick. You will feel like you're out on the ocean. And this life gives us and brings us some ups. And some downs, some some tilts and some turns. And God is saying today we are to listen to his voice. Hallelujah. Just as if, if it were midnight, you were in a dark room and you didn't know which way to turn. But he can you just imagine him speaking to you, listening to that voice and he guides you out of the darkness. He said, I am right here with you. I'm with you always. Listen to my voice. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this word, this devotion on this morning. This one, somebody say, I'm listening. I'm listening to your voice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Come on. Let's go to God now in prayer. Hallelujah. Most gracious God, our heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. This morning, God, we come praising you and thanking you today. God, we come lifting you up, God, for indeed today you are worthy of all of the praise. God, you are our provider. God, you are our teacher, our leader. God, you are our guide. God, and we just thank you for that on today. You are that soft voice, that sweet voice that, that leads us, that calms us. God, not only calms us, but calms our situation. God, calms the raging sea. So we thank you for that on this morning, God. We know when we are listening to you, God, you are right there with us. You're in the midst of any and every situation. And as we listen to you, you will lead us out. So God, thank you. Thank you for loving on us and caring about us, God. We just praise your name on today. Heavenly Father, today we're praying for all of those right now who are in the midst of a seasick situation those who are being tossed about to and fro, those whose life has thrown them some ups and some downs, those who are going through loss of a loved one, those who are going through a loss of a job, those right now, God, in the midst of a struggle, a situation with their finances, God, or, or perhaps even their health, God, right now, they feel as though they're seasick. They don't know which way to turn, but God have them now to listen to your voice that they might hear you and recognize that you are right there with them, God. God, calm their situation, calm their hearts, calm their spirits. God, lead them out that they might walk with you, God. So we just thank you for that. We're claiming victory. We're saying right now we are winners, God, and you have calmed the raging sea. So Heavenly Father, we bless your name. Right now, God, we're praying for all throughout the land. God, we ask that you would move by your power and by your spirit. God, calm, send a calming spirit in each and every situation. God, we just thank you and we praise you. And now, God, we ask you, keep us that we might be kept and bless us today, that we may be more of a blessing to someone else. God, do it for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And everybody, Everybody said amen and amen. Come on, just give God some praise. Thank him right now for that voice, that sweet voice, that voice of calm, that voice of peace, that voice of love. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm listening to your voice. 
Well, I trust and pray that today's devotion was a blessing to you. If it was a blessing, share this word today. Someone else is going through today and they just need to know what to hold on to. Someone is ready to let go of that rope. Give them some hope today. Share this word on today. I'd like to ask you, has life, has life knocked you off balance, causing you, causing you to lose your spiritual equilibrium? If so, just begin to thank Jesus right now. Ask him to speak to you and he'll stay and be right there with you, helping you get off the floor, restoring balance to your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. And today, again, we're so delighted that we've had this opportunity of sharing, coming together, doing life together with you. Thank you so much for being here with us. We pray blessings upon your life. I ask you now to tune in with us. Tune in with us again on tomorrow. Tune in 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. We trust, we pray, we know that you will be blessed for having done so. Please note today that I love you, but God, God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.